Talking about mindset, like how should you differ if you're when you're playing well versus if you're struggling? You kind of talk, you see those players. Oh man, his mindset's different. Um, he's playing well. He's got to be just really clear and in the right mindset. Or if he's struggling, he's kind of battling with some things. Um, and what's your take on how to control your mindset when you're either really good or really bad? Once again, guys, I don't. You can't control your mindset. The, the human mind and consciousness, it's just a constant flow from up and down. And that's why people go into moods, right? So in a good mood, nothing bothers you. In a bad mood, everything bothers you. So the thing is, is that everything doesn't matter because you're creating the everything with your own perception. Because from a good mood, traffic is not a problem. From a bad mood, you get really stressed out by it. So it can't be the traffic because if it was the traffic every single, if it was the traffic, then every single time you would be one or the other but the fact is you're not, okay? So when a player's playing well, what I've seen is that, you know, all good things come, all, all, there's a saying that, that, that uh, uh, all things will, uh, will pass or all things will come to an end. Well, that means good and bad. So, you know, when you're playing really well, you know, write notes down about, you know, kind of overall how you're seeing the game and you know, pay attention to how you've been practicing or what you've been working on or how much golf you've been playing versus how much you've been practicing. I still totally believe that too many kids in the AJJ are practicing too much and not playing enough. And so what happens in practice, you create this false kind of sense of competency. And then when you go on the course, the course demands much different asks of you. It takes decision making in the process, course management in the process, understanding how much the wind moves the ball left or right or how much it moves it up or down, um, just these types of ideas. Right. So when you're playing really well, you got to understand success leaves clues. Success always leaves clues. And so I think what happens when you're not playing well and you're struggling, look, that sometimes is just the natural process of life. and. That adversity is there as an instructor to really help you with, with what could be the next step. So a lot of times people, you know, they're getting very close to their objective and they just lose patience. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people are like right on the brink of being successful and they stop. And I think that that last little bit is really that universal challenge of like, can this guy or can this girl, you know, hold on a little longer. So remember guys, all the hard things I went through, when I went through them, it didn't feel like it was ever going to benefit me. But years down the line, I realized that I am the person that I am because of the adversity, not because of the good times. It's easy to be in a great place in the good times. You know, and, and realize success leaves clues. Well, so does constant failure and looking at what you're doing. So once again, if you just stand on a putting green with a chalk line and hit 400 five footers, that's probably helpful somehow. But when you get on the golf course, you're never going to hit a putt that's the same twice. And standing on the range in a, you know, structured environment with alignment tools down and, and reminders of swing plane and things like we see people do, it's all very good for training, but none of that are you going to have on the course. So you're kind of practicing for a boxing match with gloves and headgear on where when you get into the match it's just bare knuckles and so no, no matter how much you practice like as mike tyson said like everyone's going to get found out when they get hit and so you're not really doing yourself any favors by doing that right you know so to me a bare knuckle fighter is going to have to learn to fight bare knuckle because he's going to have to know what it feels like when he gets hit and where his mind goes and where his body goes so you know basically as I said, success leaves clues and, 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 and so does failure. But understand, everyone wants to get to the top of Mount Everest, but no one wants to get frostbite on the way there. You cannot have one without the other. You cannot have greatness without struggle. So rather than trying to run from it and figure out what's wrong with you, nothing's wrong with you. What's wrong with you is you chose to play a very, very difficult game. And you need to embrace and accept that the game is really, really hard. And sometimes it comes easy, um, but that's not often.